A stock containment area is a carefully selected fenced section of the property which is set up to hold, feed and water livestock. This is beneficial for maintaining stock condition as well as protecting soil and pasture resources during adverse seasons. Stock containment areas are vital pieces of infrastructure to manage through dry times but have many other benefits. Agriculture Victoria has guidelines to assist landholders in designing and constructing an efficient stock containment area. In 2015, the Victorian Government provided grants for farmers in drought-affected areas of the state to construct stock containment areas. We're concerned that uh, a lot of paddocks are run bare and dry and farmers are spending a lot of time chasing sheep, looking after sheep, feeding sheep and even carting water in some areas. So this is a really solid way of helping farmers manage their livestock over summer. Lachlan Rolton is a sheep and cropping farmer at Woodstock West in central Victoria. Lachlan farms in partnership with his brother Chris and his uncle Howard. Across the 1500 hectare farm, about half is sown to cereal crops each year and 2,000 ewes are run primarily on loosened pasture. So I've been thinking about it for the last few years about containment where we would have it. We only purchased this property uh, three years ago, I think it is now. Um, so we had other sites in mind, some have had more trees and which we would have been in, in the containment and we didn't, weren't sure about doing that as far as looking after the survival of the trees. But so, well, the, the funding, government funding sort of was a bit of a push along, I suppose, although we were thinking about it. Um, we got water, underground water, which is up on the hill here behind you, um, which is pumped two kilometres um, to get there. So it's, it's not right on site, but we've got that. We, that, was, that was put in and I sort of had a light bulb moment, I suppose you call it, and said, we've got water. A pipe was going in here to the house, so down, down the lane. We dug the pipe in, he left, left risers for the troughs, and then I just started planning, mapped out the, uh, the site and just split it up in accordance with the government guidelines as far as how it was to be set up. As soon as I drove onto this property, I noticed the tree line and the shade. I noticed the soil type and the, the arrangement of the fencing already in place. I knew it would be a good site to do. Oh, look, every site is different and, and, and every farmer has to um, design the yards to suit their needs. We've set up self-feeders, self which we, we already owned, um, down on the laneway fence so we don't have to enter the, the pens. We use a Bromar um, feeder for filling the feeders. They hold oh, roughly a tonne each of oats. We're, we're feeding an oats and lupin mix at the moment for these um, merino weathers. Um, so yeah, the laneway is accessed for the feeding. Oh, Hayes, just put in the pens whether you come in or put it over the fence, it's um, up to the individual. They are quite content, they, when they first went in they run around a bit and are pretty, um, yeah, excited about the, I suppose excited about the new environment just to get their head around where they, where they actually are, but once they've got feed, they've got water, they've got shade and, and hay, they soon settle down. Mark was saying over time, the hay and, and whatnot you're feeding it sort of mixes in and keeps a bit of a pad as well as the, yeah, the sheep will pat, pat it up and so far so good and the drainage I think will be quite good. I don't know how wet the laneway is going to get down there but that was one consideration which in the literature I read it was laneways go up the top not down the bottom and so I was sort of thinking but I just the shade these these uh, trees on the, the northern in the northern edge they get we've got shade all day for these lambs and they're often on a hot day that's where they are so and that was that was the main consideration, that's why I didn't want the lane up the top. I just, I just thought the shade was more important than, than um, getting too wet or whatever it might happen down there. Um, but just if you run into a dry time, to be able to lock your sheep up off your paddocks so they, you keep your ground cover. Um, and just having um, grain, hay um, and good water, you can just watch them so much more. They're driving all over your, the countryside trying to, just the time it takes to feed and whatnot. But just, just overall management, you know, we're dipping or crutching, just having sheep close to your facilities and yards, and, and I can see it as a big benefit going forward. As far as the containment side of things, we have, we, 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 we'll use this in a drier um, years and, and when, when there's not so much paddock feed around or stubbles around, and I can see it as a big benefit. Might mean we can run more sheep, is, is my plan.
Authorised by the Victorian Government, One Treasury Place, Melbourne.